Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, in conjunction with William Step Consult, presents Project Management Academy 4.0 Overview. Project Management Academy 4.0 came with a new twist to the whole order. The training focused on the basics of Primavera P6 and Imaging Technologies. It was attended by 49 students, among which are civil engineers, architects, electrical engineers, safety officers, etc. The objective of the training include ability to understand the rudiments of project planning, ability to prepare a realistic program of work, Ability to present a program of work in a professional way using Primavera P6. To understand the application of QR code, Google form in the built environment. And understanding of the rudiments of setting out a smart home. The journey so far. Project Management Academy was backed as a result of the desire of NICE Lagos to entrench training in their programs. The academy started basically for training is on Microsoft projects, but it's been gradually expanded to take care of other softwares and areas of project management through continuous improvements. It is a product of resourcefulness and determination of the school to ensure that members are well equipped to take on the challenges they might encounter during the course of their practice. The Academy has trained over 230 participants since its inception. We say kudos to the leadership of Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, Lagos State Chapter, for another feat that has been achieved. A look at the training schedule. Week 1. During the first week of lecture and few days prior to the beginning of the training, participants were guided through the installation of the software. And on the first week, the first lecture, the lecture was introduced by looking at the importance of planning to project delivery. A pretest was done using CAUT software. Then we looked at introduction or into Primavera pieces by getting acquainted with Primavera pieces interface. Participants were familiarized with EPS, OBS, Gantt view, detail view, timelines, user, and admin preferences. During the second week, participants were introduced on how to set up a program of work using Primavera pieces. After which, assignment one was given. In the third week of the lecture, assignment one was revealed. Participants were taught how to set baseline, plan value analysis, scheduling, status, tracking, and printing. They were also taught the application of QR code and Google form in the built environment. And during the last week of lecture, assignment two was reviewed. Participants were introduced to how to set up a smart home. The final lecture centered on an overview of what has been learned in the past weeks. And with four lecture was concluded with a post-test using CAUT. Examining the participants. The participants were examined before, during, and after the training to ensure they understand what has been taught. A pretest and a post test using counts before and after the training was used to establish the fact whether what is being taught is being understood by the students. 
when you give a test before and after a lecture or after a training and you compare notes it gives you a true picture to know whether the training being taught is being properly assimilated assignment one and two were also given during the training which was assessed one-on-one -on -one with facilitator comments and the participants were graded accordingly on a hundred points for each assignment The login detail is on the screen, 9504475. You can start um, entering 1098 
So what are the things, Kiris? What are the things that we have learned? We're able to learn the basics of Primaria P6 and basically how to set up a program of work, how to format layout, how to schedule, how to restart us, how to set a baseline, how to print reports. And from the emerging technologies, we take a delve at the application of Google Form and QR code in the built environment and we also looked at how to set up a smart home thank you very much it's been an exciting time going through this training watching the videos doing the assignments you can always subscribe to our youtube channel for more educative and valuable videos. Thank you.